Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, we're gonna see how to set up Flutter for your macOS environment. Let's start. So like uh, we saw in the previous video, we will be going to the Flutter docs for our help here. You go to the Flutter docs, I've dropped the link in the description below. You go to install and find the macOS version. In this in this section, you will find all the required necessary files to be uh, downloaded in order to set up Flutter. First, we'll be taking care of downloading zip file from here. Okay, it's going to take a uh, couple of minutes for me to download. Pause the video, download, and then continue. I'll be using the inbuilt archive utility, and it will automatically unzip the file for me. The important thing to note here is that you should always place your final unzipped flutter package into a place where you don't have to give permission uh, this is very important because this file will hold the sdk which is required for building your flutter application so as you can see there's a bin file here which will hold the uh, flutter bat and the flutter exe files and all, everything that is required uh, to be developed uh, so once this is done we'll open the terminal uh, you can use you can open spotlight by pressing the command and the spacebar button at the same time so you can uh, the required thing to do now here is to actually uh, export the path of the flutter uh, sdk that you just downloaded uh, you can go to this uh, uh, docs here for uh, additional information it says that you have to add the flutter tool to your path you can actually go do the same thing uh, or you can actually you can do the same thing copy this uh, entire thing and uh, paste it into your terminal okay here the pwd is going to mean the present working directory currently we are in the root directory but our flutter package is actually in the downloads directory so what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to this downloads directory it's just downloads and then copy this path this will now actually help us uh, in setting the path of the flutter sdk all right that is now done the next thing to do now here is to actually run the flutter doctor the flutter doctor is a, a doctor is a tool which is uh, which will tell us if there is any missing dependencies or anything missing uh, for the flutter uh, to be run so what you do is you run flutter doctor and it's going to take some time it's going to check all the required uh, uh, dependencies are present in our compute system and once that is done, it will list all the warnings, errors, or something that is missing. So, yeah, so it is now running a doctor summary. And it is also saying that uh, Android is done, but the uh, Flutter plugin and Dart plugin is missing inside the Android Studio. So we are going to be correcting all of this uh, in the next few couple of minutes. To uh, th So we're going to be we're going to be downloading all the required dependencies for the flutter to run properly in our system good job so far guys uh, as you can see in the flutter doc uh, you will have the rest of the information to be downloaded and installed in the mac OS system uh, we ran flutter Do uh, flutter doctor in the previous uh, uh, scene so what we're going to do in this uh, now is actually to make sure that we have the ios simulator installed in our mac OS system to do that you as you can sc scroll down you'll find two links that are given one is through a web download and other is to a mac app store uh, for both of these uh, links you will you will actually have to have a developer apple account okay i i assume that you've actually down uh, done creating an apple account uh, you can now actually go to the mac app store and uh, download your required uh, xcode from here xcode is a recommended uh, application to actually develop uh, ios applications if in case you don't do not have the latest mac os version which is the mac os mojave uh, you can actually go through an alternate link that i have provided in the description below this from this link you can actually download the xcode from 9.0 and above uh, i uh, currently have a mac os sierra which is actually uh, uh, the version previous to mac os mojave so what i'm going to do is install the xcode 9.0 for this uh, system all right guys so the link that i've dropped in the description below you can go to that link enter your uh, apple developer account and you're taken to this page so this is where the entire downloads of uh, anything that apple has ever released is present so what i'm going to do is go and search for xcode uh, 
since I'm using Xcode uh, Mac OS uh, Sierra 10.1.6, the, the recommended Xcode version is 9.2, Xcode 9.2. So I'm going to go ahead and download this uh, Xcode zip. It's going to take uh, some time, maybe uh, 45 minutes for me to download this entire thing. Uh, you can pause this video, wait for the download to happen and then you can continue this uh, video. My Xcode download is finally done. It is time to now actually unzip this package and uh, set the path. I'm using the Arcade Utility as I did for the Flutter package. It's going to take some time to unzip developing iOS apps. We are not going to get into that now. But make sure that this window opens up. This is very important because there may be some dependencies that are missing. So in case they are missing, make sure that you install all those dependencies. Once this is done, we are going to run the next command that you want to type. You are going to go to terminal. You are going to type open hyphen a simulator. So you do that. And here, look at this. There is an iOS look lookalike device. So this is going to be the simulator where we are going to test our iOS apps. So this is going to open up for us. This iOS simulator is where we are going to test our Flutter application. Great job so far, guys. So Xcode is installed. The next thing that we are going to need is uh, actually an Android simulator. Android Simulator comes with Android Studio. Android Studio is just like Xcode. This Android Studio is Google's official uh, IDE for developing Android applications. So in order to install Android Studio, you can find the link in the description below. Uh, you can go ahead, download it. It is going to install all the dependencies for you. Pause the video, wait for the download to happen, install it in your system and then continue this video. So as you can see, I open it up and I can see that it says I need to start a new project. So uh, yeah, you have to go through this uh, new project uh, to actually uh, install the Flutter plugin. So yeah, I am going to go with the default uh, settings here. Go ahead and actually open up the Android Studio with the required. Uh, Great, um, Android Studio 3.2 is downloaded and uh, yes, uh, it is going to take some time to sync. My sync process is completed now. I am going to jump quickly to how to install the uh, Flutter plugin for your Android Studio. So what you are going to do is go to Android Studio top and preferences here. You will find that there is a section called plugins in the left left hand corner. Uh, you click that plugins options and you can type in flutter in this uh, search bar so once that is done you can f uh, you you see that there is no nothing popping up so what you do is you go do search in repository so we're going to click on flutter and do install so yeah it is going to take some time because it's a third party yes it's going to also install dart for us Okay, so now the flutter is installed and dart is also installed it is time to restart our android studio apply and ok restart so yeah so it's going to take uh, maybe a couple of minutes for it to restart so once the flutter is installed it's time to go and create our first flutter application you can do that by clicking file new and you find that there is a new option called new flutter project click that only taken to the normal uh, flow of creating a flutter application like a normal android application so you're going to go to flutter application okay i'm going to name it uh, using the dot convention of uh, lowercase separated by uh, underscores and uh, this is where you have to remember where you put your where you downloaded your flutter sdk in the first step so yes i'm going to click here go to downloads and yeah this is where i downloaded it so I'm going to open that up. It's automatically going to create a Android Studio Projects file for me, folder for me. And yeah, from the from here on, it's going to be a um, normal default settings. Example.com dot Android monks and finish. Another couple of minutes to create your Flutter project from start. My Flutter application is created. I have a default application to run and check if, if everything is fine. 
this is the code we are going to be talking about how to write this code in the upcoming series but for now our flutter project is created it is time to go ahead and run this flutter application in our android emulator so android studio comes with this inbuilt emulator we need a simulator for ios devices only which we are going to see in the next step how to run this application in our android uh, uh, simulator slash emulator uh, how do you do that is actually go here you find that uh, there's open ios simulator we still don't have the dependencies installed for that but before running our android uh, emulator we have to create a vd for that so you can if you can if you went to installation of android studio from the link below uh, in the description i would have put clearly what a avd is and how do you create an avd but for this purpose of this video we'll click quickly see how to actually create a avd uh, to your android studio what you do is you go to uh, tools and you see avd manager here click the avd manager and you can actually create your own virtual device so this virtual device is going to be your android uh, emulator we, where we are going to check our flutter application uh, i'm going to go ahead and click uh, create my uh, virtual device i'm going to choose something that is not too heavy for my system so i'm going to go with maybe a 5.4 inch uh, and uh, probably i'll go with nugget it should be fine because almost all application will run in that nugget yes i accept you go ahead again it's going to take some time for the avd to download it's going to install it is going to do everything for you there is no external download like we are doing for uh, ios wait for this also to be done and we will see what to do in the next step finally the avd uh, downloaded and uh, i have the nugget OS in my system right now this is actually going to be a virtual device so I need to further uh, make sure that I have the configuration set up properly so the next page is taken to this where I have to give it a name I'm just going to go with the default name and I'm going to click finish all right so my uh, entire thing is done so I have a officially created a virtual device uh, for my Android studio so once this is done uh, you can see that uh, there is you will require restart basically so what I want to do is uh, restart the system okay so I'm going to take it to this page now all right so so it's going to take some time it is loaded the AVD uh, yeah so yeah I've loaded the AVD right now I'm going to click this and it is going to start my virtual device We'll wait for the emulator to come up and see what to do next. What I have to do is uh, make sure that I click the run button which is uh, which will actually install the APK into our uh, simulator and check if the application is running. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click run and uh, you can see the console output from here. It is going to show me what are the required, what is happening as we uh, as the Flutter application builds. So yeah, it's going to initialize Gradle, it is going to launch our first main dot, uh, main dot dot which is this file. We'll see all about that in the upcoming videos. It's, it's the initial the, uh, Gradle build is going to take at least a minute. So we're going to wait here, wait for the application to launch. A minute to actually download, actually dissolve the dependencies and uh, build the Gradle, build the entire application. Uh, here is my final application. Uh, the, this is actually a default application that uh, gets uh, run uh, as soon as the Flutter uh, project is created. So what it does is you have to, you can actually click here and it's going to increment uh, this value here. So yeah, that's it for the Android uh, uh, emulator. We'll go check out how the iOS emulator is going to work uh, in a similar fashion. But it is time to now see how you can do the same, same thing with our iOS simulator. Uh, you can see the drop down it has open iOS simulator you click that and like we saw in the like we saw a couple of minutes ago it is going to open the simulator up again but this time we are going to run the application in the simulator all right guys so I just pressed the run button like we did uh, in for our Android as well um, and it got uh, synced with our iOS X iPhone X which is the iOS simulator it launched the application you can see that it has given us the iPhone application as well. Yeah, it has the same function, it has the same UI, but it is just one code. That is how powerful Shutter is.
in the upcoming series of videos we will see how to create a similar looking application from scratch we will also see how what are the good practices to be done for android and good practices for ios not only good practices but also see how powerful flutter is in terms of building and deploying applications that's it for the video guys if you liked what i did you can continue to watch the series of flutter application development i'll be talking to you each and every step about how to develop an application from scratch using flutter to know more about what i'm doing with android monks you can check out my blog in the description below thank you have a good day